He had a dream, a vision. And one day he wanted to uh, play professional football. And did said, you believe he'd make it to this? Uh, no. Tell you the truth, no. So Luther Campbell didn't believe his son, Devondre, would become an NFL player when he started playing football for Cypress Lake High. But by 2017, Devondre Campbell's presence in the big leagues included 92 tackles and a trip to the Super Bowl with the Atlanta Falcons. But before beginning his third year of NFL play, Campbell returns to Southwest Florida. He's back on the field where his dream began, hosting a football camp to inspire young athletes in our community. Being able to, to make their day, you know, like I wish I had this when I was younger. So I take things like this and moments like this serious, being able to come back and impact the youth. And another thing Campbell takes serious, the heat here in Florida. Mother Nature is often the greatest opponent athletes face. The Falcons linebacker says heat safety is a priority at his camp. I'm happy everybody came today, man. We had fun. Hot. They said it's important to drink a lot of water. It's huge. Um, football is an unpredictable sport. You know, unpredictable things happen, and weather is a part of that. Like, you don't know if you're going to have to play in a blizzard, or if you're going to have to play in scorching hot heat, or if you're going to have to play in a thunderstorm. So, you have to be ready for any kind of atmosphere or circumstances. And I think that's one of the things that makes football such a great sport is like, you can be playing in weather like this. For a while, you know, they, they needed that because, like, coaches. In the past, they used to just push it, push it, you know, suck it up, suck it up, you know. Kid throwing up and stuff, you know. Now, it's a big difference down to uh, be hydrated. There's um, water over here on every bench down there. Over the past few years, you've seen a lot of football players dying over dehydration or just exhaustion and things like that. So I think it's huge that the county is, you know, taking steps and making it regulation to where you have to hydrate kids and you have to do things like that. So I think that's huge and it, it just shows that how important it is to them.